What is up everybody? Sean Tubbs here. I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to talk about dialing in sounds um, on a Telecaster style guitar. Um, I don't want to focus on here's how you get a country sound, here's how you get a blues sound, here's how you get a jazz sound, here's how you get a rock sound. I'm more focused in on uh, switching between the pickups, getting your neck position tone and your bridge position tone. And uh, I guess more I want to focus on what I do. This isn't what I'm saying everybody should do, um, but this is uh, certainly what I do with these style guitars. Um, this is a Friedman Telecaster style guitar. It has uh, Friedman pickups in it. They're pretty vintage in nature. They're not super hot. They're actually fairly low output. Um, I am using my uh, personal Rev D20 amplifier. Um, I'm running it direct. I'm using the uh, the stock virtual cabinet in that first position, which is a 4x12 cabinet with a Royer 121 and 57 uh, mic combo. Now, you know, with Telecasters, it's usually pretty easy to get that neck position tone uh, to sound uh, pretty sweet and, and playable, and it, it, you know, it's always pretty pleasing. Um, before I start, I do want to let you know that I'm using my uh, the pull boost on this amp. So there's going to be a little bit of crunch there, but I really love using the pull boost because it just broadens the overall uh, sound of the amplifier. So I'm not going to have this amp dialed completely clean, and I'm also not going to use any pedals. We're going to do everything from the amp and just manipulate the guitar. So I'll start with the, uh, the neck position tone, which as I said, is usually pretty easy to get a good sound out of. So uh, check it out. So it, it, it sounds sweet, chords sound good, single notes always sound really nice, there's nothing piercing about it, um, it's not overly bright, it sounds great, but the problem is when you switch to the bridge. So you can see like right here, you know, I've got the amp set up almost, you know, centered, almost at noon. When we switch to the bridge position pickup, It's a, a little bit harsh, a little bit toothy. Low notes sound okay, but when you get into the high register, it gets a little bit bright, um, you know. What I always do is I, I, you know, I pretty much leave the amp alone and I start just reaching for the tone control. So on this guitar, um, you know, I can start rolling the tone back. And just get a feel for where it starts cutting. Like this is all the way down. This is all the way up. About right there is when it starts um, cutting a little bit of that harshness without becoming dull uh, sounding. So that's way more pleasing. Now, what I would normally do, it's not done on this guitar, but I almost never roll off the tone on a neck position pickup, whether it's a Strat or a Tele style guitar. I usually like to wire the tone to the bridge, and that way my uh, neck position is you know, never touched by the tone control. That being said, what I've gotten really used to just growing up as a player is just almost by muscle memory, when I go back and forth, I always reach for the tone control. So like right now, that sounds great. That sounds way better to me. Like it's still got the top end, still sounds like a Telecaster, but it's not super harsh. So I'm rolled back about a quarter of the way. So now when I go back to my neck position tone, I'll almost always uh, just just 
by muscle memory, just roll my tone right back up so that my neck position tone isn't dark all of a sudden. So in this case, you know, by muscle memory, reached for that tone control, rolled it back, wasn't quite enough, so I just rolled it back again. And I guess that's a point I'm trying to make too, is just use your ears. Um, things don't have to be so laser focused and so immediate when you're switching between pickups. It's okay to be a little bit late to that tone. Um, nobody's really gonna notice. And just take your time to get it where you want it. So with the amp dialed somewhat clean like this, I mean, it's got a little bit of breakup. You know, it's working to roll that tone off, but as I start adding gain, once again, you know, you have to use your ears because now, like that's almost a little dark, especially if we're playing that riff. Um, that's a little dark now, so I, I'm going to listen differently and I'm going to dial the guitar differently. So I'm going to bring the tone control back up a little bit. And it's just a matter of using your ears. Now, if I want to start rolling some more mids in to get some more bark and maybe add even more gain, I'm probably going to want to go ahead and just roll the tone all the way back up on the bridge position. And that sounds really great for like a like a rock telly tone. So that's the whole point I guess I'm trying to get across in this long-winded thing is um you know, use your ears, and this applies to, it can be a Les Paul, it can be a Strat, it can be a Tele, it doesn't really matter. If it's got tone controls, um, take advantage of them. Listen to them, get a feel for where they roll off and how they sound, and eventually it really does become um, muscle memory for dialing in tones between your neck position and your bridge position, or even your middle position tones. So yeah, that's that's it. Um, I would love if you would let me know in the comments below what all you guys do. Um, do you change controls on your guitar at all? Um, or would you rather just leave everything static on the guitar and, and tweak via pedals or or turn you know controls on the amp? Um, it'd be really interesting to see what all you guys do. So uh, yeah, please comment below. And as always, I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.